ಹಾಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಡ್ನೆ ಅರಿದೆ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಮನಿ we have had land since the time of the kings my wife's great grandfather had 30000 acres of land in balangoda my ancestors had similar lands both of them worked in courts and in some years we paid income tax amounting to 2.5 million even today we have 400 million in our bank accounts taxes have been paid and they have been declared to ke apu declared api tutti pikas alla alla apu katti dewe 30000 acres 400 million Where is the money from? According to the law, one person can only own 50 acres of land. So how does the Kiriala family have such lands? Were these lands obtained when he was the minister of plantation? You need to prove these claims before the public. They should be summoned before the necessary legal institutions. How did they amass such lands and wealth? He made this statement in parliament. Even with such wealth, they are attempting to defraud money from expressway projects. If a politician claims that he has amassed a great deal of wealth and therefore he does not need to steal, then it is important that he declares his assets. 30,000 acres, 400 million. We should be happy to live in a country that has ministers who have amassed such wealth. The question is how did such a person amass such a great deal of money and lands? He was the plantations minister. We know he had inherited a lot of lands in areas such as Pallekale. So these can be looked into. We need to ask the minister whether he has declared his massive assets to parliament. We also want to know to whom the house that he has rented belongs to because the rent is being paid by the government. I am sure the people of this country would want to know these details. to certain contractors Mr Minister the public remains vigilant